This video will go through the steps to lay out an underground mine consisting of solids in preparation for the mine timing and scheduling. First thing we'll need to do is just create a series of 3D polylines that represent the mine layout. And you can use many of the tools in the civil module or you can also just go into the draw menu and choose 3D polyline. And we'll just do a nearest snap to this center line. Elevation negative 262 is good. I'll accept that. And we'll just draw it over to this side. Also elevation negative 262. So we just drew another branch off from that main ramp decline. Next step would be to create the solids. We call them models or MDL files. And there's many ways to design a template. So if we go to the underground module under solid, I have the command design tunnel template. And we can just select one of these existing ones. And here you can see the symmetrical layout of a typical template. If you wanted to draw some shapes in the CAD window, there is this option to go pick. And we can select any pre-made shape that you have, for example, here. If you wanted to go, for example, with this one. And it's also necessary to set the starting point. So if I go down to offset 2.5 and 0, I will say set, set start. And then that is the starting point for this new template. Okay. Now that the template is built, we need to create the MDL solid models. And that would be under solid, make solid from design. And the design contains the template you see here, but then the alignment can be defined by either a center line or a, and a profile or a 3D polyline, which is what we'll have here. And I'll do a two meter interval on this large decline ramp. Select the polyline. And it's about 4,000 meters long. And then it will create the MDL file. Let's call it decline MDL. And we'll go through and repeat that for the other side branches. And I'll pause the video then while I finish. And I got one more to do it. Let's go and choose this bottom right branch, call it side number six. So now all of the solid MDL files are created. And it's always a good idea then to look at them in 3D. That would be found under solid, view solid, and we'll choose the main one, the ramp decline. And then to that, we will go and right click on solids and choose add multiple and select the other ones to bring them into this view. So there we have all seven MDL files visualized in one 3D window. And solids are just made up of triangulated faces. So you can see if you turn off the rendering, that's what it's comprised of. Back to CAD. Next would be to assign solid data to polyline. So this links the solid MDL and the 3D polyline for the timing and scheduling. So we'll just go and pick them one at a time. Pick the polyline and make sure the correct model is listed there. If not, then hit the select button and go find that decline file. The precedence you see here is if there were any solids that needed to be mined before the solid. You would choose uh, from the list or screen pick any solids that must be removed first. So we'll just go now and assign all these other ones. There's side number one, okay. This is side two. All the way down to number six. There's three. And there's four. And down at the bottom is five and six.
And then once these are linked, the last step necessary for setting up for the timing would be to add in any stopping points. We call those pin points in the underground module. And so what we do is we pick on this decline ramp where I want to stop mining to go and branch off into one of these sides. And so we'll go to solid, add pinpoint to solid. We pick on the center line, enter for pick, where you want to place this stopping point. There's the first stopping point. Come down, pick right there, come down again. All right, I'll get to a little better 3D view here. And add a couple more pinpoints. Add pinpoint to solid. So I pick on the center line. And then pick the location. One more over here. So those will be stopping points while it goes off and mines the side branch. And then the final step, if you wanted to draw them in CAD as 3D faces, we go to Solid, Draw Solid 3D Faces. And I'll just draw a couple of them to represent that. I'll just call it here Solid as the layer. And then those are 3D faces. And if you wanted to render them, we just type the Shade command. And this completes the first part of the video for setup for the underground mine timing and scheduling. Thank you.